What I'm going to do here is to build it, build the barrel segments uh, in orbit. So I'll start with maybe a single segment because why not? And then we'll just build another one in space. So what's new? Uh, first, now there's an info panel uh, for the accelerator that explains uh, a bit about its uh, properties. Uh, so there's a recipe that is uh, that is used to build the barrel segment. So uh, a lot of material kits, uh, a, a bit comparatively a bit of specialized parts, uh, some electric charge. Uh, it costs uh, a lot, but well, it the whole thing costs a lot. And the maximum time of the build is uh, is the time that a single carbon engineer without any stars uh, will work on it. So. A lot of Kerbal engineers. How much, how much a single level zero engineer can do? Yeah. How I'll, long? That one I think. Two. So, not that oh, much. Is that a British pound? Ah, sorry. Is that a British pound? Um. Well, yeah. It's <laughs> it's the best I could find to visualize the funds because uh, somehow the. The UTF string that should be converted into that sign doesn't work here, so it's just... Okay, so what we see here is, of course, uh, the property of, uh, of the original size. It stutters a lot. Uh, so it's for this size. Uh, I, I won't be doing that. No, 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 not tonight. So instead, uh, we'll have the second. Well, what what goes for the size two here? Well, nine frames per second. Nine FPS. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's always like that for me in in editor. Oh, it might. It may help a lot to go to uh, game settings and turn off the space center crew. Huh? Maybe. All those curveballs walking around are a performance hit. Okay, mm. okay I see. It's easier to just make it again. So... Some engines for the looks.
No. It looks so small. Okay, so <laughs> so now all the controls in in the part menu are hidden under the group, and there's yeah yeah, and there's no more the slider for the segments uh, outside of editor. So let's. Let's set it to some orbit. Oi. Oh, it's. Huh? How did that happen? <laughs> uh, because I hit the rendezvous button with the asteroid in instead of set orbit. Oh. Okay, so yeah, that's better. I seriously wanted to ask what magic was that. <laughs> and now we need a, a ship with a lot of material kits and specialized parts and some engineers in it. And then I'll I'll need to set its orbit before it falls and uh, vandalizes the launch pad. Because what set almost eight hundred tons of resources. Eight hundred tons for a single segment for size two. Of, of the accelerator. Uh, the calculation is as follows. I, I just uh, measured all the volume of, of meshes of the segment and arbitrarily decided that it should weigh about 3.5 tons per cubic meter. So it's a lot uh, lighter than, say, copper and steel and such, but a little heavier than aluminum. I don't know if it's... well... Are those RCS ports welded or separate parts? Uh, those are not RCS, but uh, they are sparks. They are Another this... My next the, they are these fo uh, fellows, they are liquid engines, but since... Part, part the no, no, they are, um, they are regular engines, but since I use the TCA, I, um, I set them to maneuver mode and they act as RCS, uh, well, you'll see, they act just like RCS but give a lot more of thrust. Uh, oh. And they use uh, liquid fuel and oxidizer and uh, have a lot more of... Uh, Better ISP. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Specific impulse, yeah, that, that's what it calls called. Okay, <laughs> even even this one is set to be an RCS thruster, so I can translate uh, easily. Well, never mind that. Let's fill it with with resources as as they are required. Ah, oh, oh. Okay, so what I need is to to make something like that. So, 100 cubic meters of material kits. It's 95 kilo units. Uh, and I need uh, 
Oh, and another one, say 10 cubic meters of specialized parts, 9.5. But I need another ratio. Uh, nice. I need it right, right there. Yeah, okay. So, uh, three to nine point six divided by nine eight. That's the ratio I need. Uh, what I do have is ninety. Five. So I need 2.65 uh, kilo units of specialized parts, and in terms of of the volume, boom, boom, boom. So that divided by 9.5 and 2.8 cubic meters. Okay, so that I'll save as CA configuration and then 10 cubic meters for electric charge, then another 100 for liquid fuel and oxidizer, and the rest. And the rest for material kits and specialized parts in proper proportion. Okay. I'll I'll make something more mm, user friendly <laughs> uh, for such situations so that. I don't know yet what it, what it will do, but uh, I'll need to make the configurable containers uh, a lot more user friendly than they are now. Okay, let's ah let's not forget the engineers. I don't have any. Oh boy, why isn't there a mode that? allows to manipulate the I remember there was one once something like like crew manifests or, or some such okay <laughs> Oh, I hope that's the one. Ah, yeah, here it is.
So, what do we need to build another segment? First, we'll need to. Well, <laughs> there's actually a single a single button uh, just yet that controls everything about the construction. And first, what what it does, it 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 creates the the scaffold hull uh, that gradually that is gradually extended until it covers uh, the whole construction area. Uh, the speed of its extension uh, varies with the size. So if if we are talking uh, a full-sized accelerator, it will be much, much slower. Epic. But, of course, we can time warp. And when the deployment is finished, uh, it installs uh, a temporary docking node at, at this uh, end uh, yeah it's it's the named it's named docking port it's named construction port and and we want to target it and dock with it so I need to. Ah, oh, it's already active. Control point. Okay, so these are regular liquid and li li liquid fuel and oxidizer engines that TCA just uh, uses as if they were. Uh, Reaction control system thrusters. Mechjab, what is Mechjab? Uh, it's uh, it's an old and very complicated autopilot mode. I can't believe you answered that. I'm being rhetorical. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just that I'm focused on what I'm doing right now. So. <laughs> hi guys, it's Fat Carl here. Oh, hi. Hello. And we are building the next segment of this accelerator. This here is the scaffold, well, the hull of the scaffold. And <laughs> this huge bag on wheels is the is, is the tank that carries a lot of construction materials and a bit of fuel it's a sack of cement yeah so eight more than 800 tons of material kits and about a hundred ton of specialized parts uh, two and a half million funds I think I'll Warp a bit. Yeah, like uh, Elon Musk <laughs> founding. So, so Lista, Lista, you managed to make uh, construction in space segment, segment by segment. Yeah, but with current, Great. with current. Uh, well, p part balance, it costs uh, enormous amount of funds in terms of uh, resources. Hmm. And 
and a lot of mass so uh, you can just well push this whole thing from to orbit from carbon you need to produce it somewhere nearby because Get well Excuse me, yes? Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. I was thinking uh, if you can make uh, off world construction, say from resources, resources from moon using ISRU, in situ resource utilization, mm -hmm. to make a uh, project of building this uh, cheaper. Well, there has to be some kind of balancing for these huge funds. That can already be done just like that, right? Yeah. That that the can concept of oh, sorry. Yeah yeah yeah, you you are perfectly right. Uh that already can be done with what we have uh, here. I just uh I just uh, didn't make any calculations as to the balance of... There, there is one uh, ridiculous thing that can be done. You get an asteroid, uh, mine it, uh, but uh, mine it so in a such a way that you dock with this uh, facility. <laughs> and you dig out the asteroid, filter out the resources and then just build it. <laughs> and then dump the asteroid. Next asteroid, please. Well, that's something I do with hangars, actually. Yeah, docking with... <laughs> I think I need to push a bit further away. It's a normal docking with magnetic ports, right? Yeah. Interestingly, the docking ports could uh, benefit from having indicators uh, for, say, alignment or for uh, docking and undocking uh, phase. Uh, right now, plugins do that, just the user has no direct uh, feedback for it. Yeah, especially when they engage dis or disengage magnetic fields depending on how they were or weren't docked yeah, well, before. Basic status. Yeah. Current state. Okay, almost there. I personally like the Navo uh, indicator mod. Yeah, for some reason uh, it didn't work for me the last time I tried, so... Uh, well, I played it a long time ago, so <laughs> I don't know the current state. I used to use this one, but it broke for me a time. And I switched over to the community nav wall. The one that adds a red marker to the nav wall itself. Yes, that one, that one. I was using that one. I didn't know uh, if I named it correctly. Yeah, the keyword is community. And it's owned by Linux Guru Gaming now. <laughs> Who owns almost every mod there is. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he does this stuff. Well, yeah. We will be left with a lot of plugins. Disabled. Yeah, I don't know how he manages. How does he find the motivation to adopt more? Even with the Patreon support, a lot. And server administration and coding are his day job. Oh, that's a lot of work. I know, right? No weekends, no holidays, no New Year's, no pretty much anything. Uh, 
Uh, this, this is, is a lot, lot of mess, mess so, so it's so hard to dock, probably. Yeah. Okay, the target is closing. But it should already... Engage. Yeah, that's strange. Oh, yeah, finally. Yeah, got it. So, total vessel mass now is uh, 4000 tons. And. Uh, uh, Only 4000, those are rookie numbers. numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and what we just docked uh, were. Oh, well. Uh, more than a kiloton. Okay, so now we just build it because we have everything that we need. We have uh, some engineers. We have. Where are they? Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of resources, so we just push push the button. And the button says says that it constructing uh, a new segment, and oh, and if we we open the normal accelerator control uh, control window, it also says that uh, accelerator is under construction, and all the Our all the buttons. Yeah, yeah. And a nice, nice UI. UI. It's a good, good suggestion, suggestion from me, huh? Yeah, yeah, totally. It became much more compact and manageable. Dear value customer, we have begun an infrastructure upgrade on our network. Please excuse the downtime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should say uh, add some uh, elevator music. <laughs> Nothing like five hours of that until it gets done. Five hours later. Uh, how did it say in the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants? Five hours late, seventy-five years later. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's time warp this because otherwise it will be until tomorrow. It's a good thing this isn't uh, under acceleration because uh, you could do you could do only physical warp that it will be until tomorrow. Yeah. And also, the players should be warned to do it in a, this high orbit like yours, so you can really warp up. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, that uh, that is a thing that should be balanced. Uh, it's configurable, of course. Uh, how fast it is built? Currently, it's built a lot faster than uh, it would be really. Um, uh, plausible because a single uh, engineer without uh, of level zero without any stars uh, would build it uh, well about 11 days and, and a half so we have six engineers it would be about two or maybe even less two hours Anyways, what, what, I, what I'd like to show is this green, well, dot cross. Uh, it indicates the center of mass of the accelerator itself, um, not counting the docked vessel. And, right. and uh, when the construction uh, proceeds, it it moves just uh, too slowly to see without uh, warping and the uh, and as you can see the center of masses of the whole uh, vessel also moves because the camera focus moves but the 
the mass remains const constant. Uh, volume changes. Uh, no, no, volume does not changes. It's uh, what what changes is that uh, resource mass distribution. Yeah, resources from here. Look, uh, they almost all the specialized parts and material kits were used, and uh, their mass now he is now here uh, in this box. That's why the center of mass is moved here. Uh, but uh, what is uh, what is interesting is that the construction process uh, requires more material kits and specialized parts, uh, uh, more mass than the actual segment uh, will weight. So there is some trash uh, that is generated in the process. Whoa. So ex 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 about 5% of resources is uh, counted as trash mass and when construction will be completed and the scaffold removed, uh, uh, this trash mass uh, will be dissipated in, into space in some ethics and uh, the mass of the accelerator will become a bit less. So about 5% of what is required. So okay, it uh, it finished the construction, at least in numbers. Uh, to proceed, we need to push that same button again, uh, and it will explain to us that we need to undock uh, the thing that is docked here. Otherwise, the scaffold cannot be removed. And then it will say, oh, it, it will say nothing. <laughs> it should have said that uh, the vessel is too nearby, but for some reason it didn't detect it. Well, it all works through uh, the stock docking port modules and they are, all, they are a mess. Anyways. Accelerator is idle and we have another segment and uh, about a kiloton of resources less. 